Right, got a Corsa uh, C or D. I don't really know when it comes to Fox Orbs, what's a C or a D, or I don't really care. Uh, I'd say 2005, 2004 Fox Orb Corsa. Anyway, as you can see, the motor light is flashing away. Uh, Customs has no rhyme or reason other than they had a flat battery. Very common on these for if you get a flat battery or have a battery replaced um, well according to the auto it's a C um, to um, have body control module problems and lose coding or even worst case corrupt it altogether which requires replacement or you can um, repair them with certain equipment All right, and I'm just going to show you how oh God, what's the engine number uh, how we try and realign all the systems with the Autel. Uh, it does work on these. Z12XE something. I'll do. Um, it does work on this. I don't normally use it, so I'm going to be hashing my way through. Uh, I normally use another tool. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the functionality of this and a very, very handy, useful function that I don't think many other tools do. Uh, we're not any generic tools, um, and I'll show you that now. So when a customer has delivered their new Vauxhall, they get the book pack, and in the book pack, they get a security card, which credit card type thing looks just like this. This one hasn't got it with it. It has the mobiliser pin coding and radio code and all that sort of stuff over the years. These things do get lost. However, if you have an Autel, um, you have some good capabilities. I'm sure it's in body. Instrument panel, get security code. Now it'll read the security code which is stored on this particular model, it's stored in the instrument panel. Um, and then you can do all sorts of security related things like programming keys, replacing modules, etc. So it's really handy for that. Excuse me. Um, if you can see, I have not got this vehicle on battery support, which I should do really. I'm in a car park, not near my van, I have no electricity supply, and there we go, there's our code. Um, so now we can use that for our coding. These are the fault codes associated with our problem here. So in the, where are we? Um, a wrong signal received in the mobilizer. Oh, is that? I can't tell where I'm looking now. Uh, body control module fault, uh, excited current low, immobilizer, wrong transponder key, wrong type detected, uh, transponder key problem. Um, so, I wonder if this just has a key problem. I was literally told, someone called me up and said, come on, can you do your usual realignment thing? Um, but maybe not. Let's find out. As I just said, um, what tends to happen when the battery goes flat and these lose their coding, um, you just recode them. However, after I noticed that fault code about the key fault, which isn't the usual, you get um, bad key signal, certainly, um, or unrecognized key. But what you should get in your live data in your immobilizer is, um, that should say, wrong key, not no key. So ignition off, ignition on. It's not picking up any transponder key at all. Now, it doesn't mean it's the key, it could be the key or the um, decoder ring. Um, we'll need testing. Luckily I've got a very good um, uh, transponder chip reader, so I'll just use that rather than start stripping down and checking the, um, the um, um, uh, immobilizer ring on the... <coughs> On there. So, we'll scrap that last idea um, of showing you the uh, resynchronizing procedure of all the modules because obviously we're faulty key. So, instead, I'll show you how the Autel will code the key. Now, I've already forgotten what the pin number was, and this is one I've literally just made for the customer. So, let's put the ignition on. Let's go in here, into our instrument panel. I hate this about voxels where the radios come on automatically. Um, we'll get our security code. If I'd have brought a pen with me, I'd write this down, but 
I haven't. Because <sighs> I'm a silly boy. Right, so it's currently extracting, as you can see. Mobilized light still flashing away. Come on, baby. Nine two one eight. Right, everybody, remember that because I won't. Nine two one eight. Come out of that. Come out of that. Going to locking security. Uh, program and transponder key. What did we say it was? Nine two one eight. Okay, you see checking procedure? Yeah, we've done that probably. Oh, I must have typed it in yesterday. Right, we've entered our security code. Um, now the customer said he hasn't got any spares, but we're going to program it in an empty space. Don't overwrite any of his other ones. Um, we can do if he wants. Oh, it doesn't matter because Auto has a bit of a glitch. It, it deletes all the other keys anyway. Insert a non-programmed key. Well, we've got it in there, as you can see. That's the new one I've just made. It's freezing. Two degrees. Mission off. Mission on. I don't know what happened there. These things happen. Yep, mission off. Just while I'm doing this, I just want to check something. Mobilizer lights no longer flashing, which I find unusual when it's programmed the key. <laughs> so, okay, that's not normally what happens. Um, but like I say, there can be some glitches and stuff. Sometimes things say they've failed and they haven't, so that's worked. So that's programmed that key. I was about to try it again, but there's no point. Um, in fact, I'll just show you one more time. So you get your security code, you go in there. Let's turn it off. Let's actually, I've got the key out now. I'll show you with the key out. Please wait. It's going in. It's saying unable to communicate. Right, I see why. Oh, old protocol car. Okay. Of course, a, the, so this is a C. The D. Fuck. Oh, shut up. The D um, doesn't lose communications. <laughs> Anyway, he doesn't lose communications. Anyway, that key's programmed. Really easy. Auto. Another win for the the machine. Like I say, um, I just don't normally use this for Vauxhall keys, only because even if you've got the original key working and stuff, um, it will only ever program the one. It always deletes the others. Um, I'm just going to go through and clear all the codes down. Cheers, people. Paste, um, and the confusion of it saying it didn't work in working, I forgot to program the actual remote side of the key. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this. One, you can try it in the ignition and ignition on press uh, the lock and unlock button several times. Rarely works. And since I have a computer in my hand, I will do this already. So, ignition on. Go back into this. Oh, I hate this stereo program remote key. So, we're just programming the remote now. Um, it gets communication, it'll ask for the PIN number again. Okay, then it'll ask us to press one of the buttons when it's ready. Oh, come on. These things happen, don't worry. Just go back in again. Sorry about all the glare. Sorry about this being such a long video. And just completely your balls up but working. Well, I don't know what's going on because this works because I actually have programmed it because I thought about it afterwards and I thought, well, oh, I better show you douchebags. So give it a second. All right.
yeah, taking longer is better. So I think it's doing something now. So then it'll ask me to press one of the buttons. Eventually. <sighs> I don't know what's going on this way. <laughs> like I say, I did program this a minute ago. After um, I got out of the car, went to lock it. I thought, oh, I didn't program it. Got back in, programmed it. Um, but I don't know why it's sometimes a bit glitchy. Maybe I haven't let the ignition get asleep for long enough. Please wait. Hungry now, where's our pizza? Oh, I haven't bothered with this right, I'll take it out, I'll let it crash out. Just to show you, I did program it earlier, and that is exactly the procedure you do. Because um, what I was going to show you with all the um, module realignment, like the immobiliser, um, ECU, body control and all that, is between every single step you have to let, take the key out and let the ignition go to sleep for a while. And it's the same with the key programming, I just haven't left it long enough. But you literally go program remote, put in the code and away you go, it'll tell you to press a button. Um, because putting the key in, turning the ignition on, pressing the buttons just doesn't work. Anyway, bye.